We are going to be installing a rear seat on this easy go TXT cart. Got to switch you underneath our lift for now because we're going to start taking it apart. Okay, we're going to remove all this, the basket area, the roof supports, all this stuff has to be taken off. This one actually has seat belts on it. All that stuff's coming off so we can install a rear seat. Um, the seat just came yesterday. This is the seat we're going to put on this one. Um, it's a rear flip seat and it comes with vinyl cushions but I'm going this customer that is buying this golf cart is paying us to put the back seat on it and also they want to upholster everything the same so we're taking these existing blue seats off we've been waiting for this so we can take the vinyl cushions off of that and send it to the upholsterer so now that open the box up today pull out the cushions and uh, go drop all these cushions off at the upholsterer because it usually takes about 10 days and then we'll go ahead and mount when we get a chance uh, mount the back seat on this thing and okay we're getting ready to put the uh, rear seat on this easy go txt i just took off this whole rear basket bag attachment assembly just had to unbolt it from the top the four bolts down at the bottom that bolted right there so right now I've got a broom <laughs> holding up the roof because I didn't want to take the whole thing off I've got the uh, seats spread out all over the shop again parts are everywhere got the instructions this is the first time I've used this brand so we're gonna find out it looks very similar the hardware to the uh, Mad Jacks um, Assembly bags are numbered pretty much the same. Oh, we got a bag, yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna start. Uh, first thing it shows us to do, and after removing that stuff, is to install these two brackets right here. Install main brackets using hardware from pack number four. Then we go to attaching the bagwell brackets. Definitely not as easy as Mad Jacks. First of all, these two brackets that they tell me to put in, they don't tell you which one goes where. Difference being, see how it's got like a flush bracket on this side. This one's got a flush bracket, so I don't know if this one goes over here. The flush goes on the inside, the flush goes on the outside. The instructions show a color picture, but they're so dark you can't even see what's what. There it is. I can't see. Then I've got to put these two legs like we did on the other one. And it says use the outermost holes. Well, they don't line up with the outermost holes. Even these ones that are plugged is not the right ones. If you reach underneath right here, there's a hole in the metal but not drilled in the plastic. So apparently we have to line up the metal underneath and drill the holes here. Once we do that, we'll be able to bolt this down like this and get going. So we're gonna start drilling and bolting. Okay, we went ahead and bolted down those two main support brackets, they call them. We installed these two uprights and we just installed the uh, foot plate. Now we're getting ready, I believe, to install the big heavy piece. Attach rear seat frame. Yes, that's the big thing. Which pack it? Hardware pack one. So we're going to get that out and attach that. Okay, we got the main floor bolted, those two bolts there. Two bolts under here, all tightened up. Let me show you. Four all tight and laid out. Now, flip it back up. We're getting ready to put the side rails on. 
Okay, the side rails and the back rail. That's what's next. So let's see which part. Pack number seven. Washer and nut face the outside of the cart. Do not tighten. Okay, now we're in the process of attaching the arm rails and the seat back support. Now, nothing's tightened up yet. What we've done, we've put the first bolt through here, all the way through everything, and tightened it. The second bolt goes in this higher one. But I wanted to show you, they, they, let me get a picture of it. They send you a little rubber spacer. See it right here? To go between these two pieces on the top. That's going to make up for this metal that's on the bottom here. That's pinched between them that you don't have at the top. So when you open up your kit and you get these little spacers, they're going to go, when I put this bolt in, I'm going to go and put it in right here and then through. Okay? Okay, it looks like we're going to get ready to encounter a problem that hopefully you don't have. It's time to put the roof supports, that's these, they bolt in here like this. Oops. It's going to bolt there, bolt there. Actually, it's going to be on the other side. Because that's where the hole is. Let me get it over there. Underneath the roof. So, it's going to bolt right there. And then, see the hook, the shepherd's hook that hooks in? Okay, normally, this is a new one. See the hole in the top? Normally, this roof would have a bolt going through the top of this. However, now on this air top, what they have, they've got a stud put through there, so so you don't make any holes in the top of the cart so it leaks. So what I have to do is drill a hole. See the old ones besides the top bolt factory holes I didn't use. See how they drill holes in the side? Looks like quarter inch holes. That blows because it's not the drilling it's the lining them up so I'm gonna to have to temporarily attach this to here and then try to put a level on it and get a level and mark it where I want to drill it so hopefully you guys don't have that and you'd get breeze right through this next step okay just got done putting the roof supports on had to drill them like I said let me show you underneath here. Oh, it's tough to see up here. There we go. See, I had to put drill hole in the side of those because of this aluminum frame. But everything is tightened up. The rails are looking good. The seat over here doesn't hit here. Or here because we put the head of the bolt on the inside and the washer nut on the outside so this thing now is ready to put the two pieces down here to tie the foot rest to the arm rail I'm going to put those two in that's what these are remember these from the other one so we're going to put those in then it's time for the uh, seat back in the cushions and then this little project will be a wrap for a rear seat on a easy go txt uh, this is the finished product of that rear seat um got the cushions all upholstered and back and carts finished seat belts all of that but just wanted to put a finish to this and show you how nice this rear seat came out it's beautiful it's got a handle right here we can pull now we got the whole flip platform the seats came out beautiful anyway that's uh that's it just to show you this is what the first gtw seat we put in use we use mad jacks but this was very nice very nice so um hope you enjoyed the video hope you subscribe to our channel watch more of our videos Ring that bell so you can get notifications. 
Leave us a comment. Email us at Wayne's Golf Cart Service at gmail.com and let us know um, how we're doing. And if you want to see a particular video shot on an electric golf cart, let us know. Yeah.